Hey guys, what's up? It's Fern. Welcome to another planty video. Thank you so much for joining me today. So today we are going to be doing something that I've been putting off for a long time and that is building some moss poles. So I think I've mentioned this before, but a little while ago I was watching Sean from Only Plants here on YouTube and he has a video about moss poles and making plants climb and I was just like so blown away by his plants and of course he lives in Indonesia so his plants are just like living their best lives there. <laughs> Mine are never going to be that lush here in Canada but um, you can definitely get larger leaves on a lot of these climbing type plants which most of mine are trailing but I want them to climb because I want to see those big leaves. I have never made like a proper moss pool with this like heavy duty mesh stuff so we'll see how it goes. Could be interesting. I'm going to show you everything that I am using. So the first thing that I have here obviously is this hardware net I believe it's called this is huge massive I ordered this, this on Amazon but you can probably find it at your local hardware store Home Depot something like that um, but it's very like firm heavy-duty plastic so I think it's gonna work well for like a really sturdy moss pole I think that I also I will link everything below. I think this is what Courtney used for the moss pole that she made for my Milano Chrysum. I'm pretty sure. Um, it looks like the same thing. And then I'm going to be securing it with zip ties. You can use different things, twist ties, whatever, but I just ran out to the dollar store super quick because I wanted to make these and these were literally the only zip ties that they had. I should have bought more than 20. There's only 20 in here. I don't know. We'll see how many moss poles I even get to making. But yeah, there wasn't really any selection. Just got these plain old zip ties. Scissors, obviously. And then of course we are going to need some sphagnum moss to put inside the poles. You can also use coco coir. Um, this is a sphagnum moss that I actually ordered a while ago off of Amazon and it's super crappy quality. <laughs> so I don't like using it to root my plants. Um, so I've been saving it to use in my moss poles because you know, I feel like it doesn't really matter as much. So yeah, we're just gonna be using this up today. So the first thing that I have to do is soak this moss in some water it comes in like a compressed brick so you have to soak it and then it puffs up um you want to be doing you want to be making these with moist moss so let's start off by doing that <laughs> Okay, we are back with our moist moss here. So I actually remember, I actually remembered that I have this piece of, oh God, I don't know what this is, PVC pipe or something like that, that I got at the hardware store literally like a year ago because I wanted to use this to make a really big moss pole for my Monstera Adansonii. So I think I am going to try to use this. I don't really know what I'm doing, you guys. This is experimental, but I think I'm gonna use this as like the middle part and then put moss around it and then secure the mesh around that. Do you know what I mean? And then I'll leave some space on the bottom just so it can, you know, stick into the pot. Um, so let's just try to figure that out. Okay, so first I am just going to figure out how much mesh I need. So like I said, I'm gonna leave some of it out. Um, that's just gonna be like the steak part of it that's gonna go inside the pot. I'll probably need like that much, that much maybe. 
Okay, now let's see how much mesh I will need. Trying to account for the fact that it's gonna have moss as well. I'm gonna say probably up to this one. This is my first time, so I could be totally off, but I'm gonna try that. Okay guys, so I think I am actually gonna fill the whole thing with moss, like even this part, just cause I want it to be as tall as possible. So I'm just gonna put the moss in and, you know, just kinda try to pack it in and then, and then we will zip tie it up. Okay, it's looking pretty good so far. Wow. Okay, so I'm gonna attempt to close it up now. I feel like that could be the interesting part, but we'll see. I am assuming that we want it pretty tight. Let's maybe do these two. Boy. That's so satisfying. Okay, I think that's pretty good. Oh my gosh, this looks awesome. Okay, so I have it mostly all zip tied up. Um, I just wanna add a little bit more into the bottom here. And I feel like, uh, I don't know, I'm gonna try to add more so that it's like firm because it's just a little bit loose there, but it feels pretty good. I kind of screwed up here. Um, part, like this part is going under and then this part is going over. So it kind of like is weird there, but I don't think it's gonna be a problem. I'll just put that, I'll just put this side obviously to the back of the plant so you won't really be able to see it. But the rest of it looks pretty good. And then I'm just waiting to do the last one there because I wanna put some more moss in here. So I'm just gonna add the extra moss just to the top and the bottom and then finish, finish it off.
Okay, so now I'm just going to cut the zip ties all off. Okay, wow, she is large and in charge. Okay, so this is going to be going into my Monstera Ad and Sony eye, so I'm gonna take that pot down right now. See what we can do here. Okay, to back it up here. Okay, so I have come to the conclusion that I think I'm going to have to repot this Ad and Sony eye to get the pool in there securely. So I guess I'm gonna go ahead and do that. Okay, y'all, I just mixed up quickly a little mixture to repot the added Sony eye. So I just have a little bit of cocoa coir that was already in this bin, some orchid bark, some charcoal, some perlite, and some pumice. So it's gonna be a really light and airy mix. So this was very difficult for me to do by myself, um, keeping the pool stable and getting the plant in there properly. This is definitely something that would benefit from having two people or even better if you just do this with a young plant and can just pot it when it's small and then make it trail up but obviously that's not the case here so we are just making it work. Okay, so the repotting is done and now it's just going to be a matter of um, winding the vines up around the moss pool to get it to climb. So I'm just going to get my green gardening tape, um, which is what I usually use to fasten my plants to poles. And then, I don't know, I guess I'm just gonna take the vines and try to secure them somehow.
Okay, so I just finished wrapping it all around. This is the finished result. It looks a little messy right now and a little strange, but once the plant starts growing upwards and climbing on, I'm really hoping that it's gonna look fantastic and put out some larger leaves for me. So I'm so stoked about this project. This is the first plant, large plant, that I've um, like staked on a moss pole, so yeah i will definitely keep you guys updated with how it goes um when i repotted it i ended up not really needing to use a whole lot of my potting mix i it mostly just like stayed together as you saw like the root ball so i just kind of shoved it in along with the pole um but yeah this is what it looks like so i literally just like wound it around and pinned it with the tape wherever i could some of the vines are um, also just secured with other vines, like not necessarily with the gardening tape. So yeah, I think that it looks pretty good. I mean, I'm pretty happy with it for my first go at this. Um, yeah, and I actually think I'm gonna put it right there. I put its little saucer there. I'm gonna put it right there beside my plant cabinet because then it will be getting some light from that cabinet and it'll just look nice. So it's like leaning a little bit, but that's gonna be towards the wall. So hopefully it won't be like super noticeable, but it's really hard to get this thing straight because it's so big um, and the pot is like, there's not that much room in there for it. So. The size is actually perfect, like the height, I'm so happy with it. So yeah, let's hope that she does well. Like I said, I will definitely keep you guys posted, but that was actually a fun little experiment. Okay, I hope that you guys enjoyed that. If you have any tips on getting plants to climb or just like maintaining this whole climbing totem moss pole situation, let me know down below. I'd love to chat with you. Um, don't forget to give this video a like if you liked it and subscribe to my channel if you are not. I have a lot more planty content. And if you want some bonus content, I also have a Patreon. So thank you so much to everyone that supports me on there. And that is going to be it. I hope that you guys have an awesome week. I will talk to you later. Bye.